Anno Domini 1681. Now that my grey life is moving towards its equally grey closure, I can finally muster the courage to write down what I saw. My hands are still shaking today when I think of all the poor souls of Gatineau. I will never forget them. Screaming women, burning houses, crying children. A flaming inferno. Just like he predicted. Just like every single one of the disasters he foretold. This Zandona. He may be a man of faith. He may be a prophet. But is he also a man of God? There is no sense in musing about that now. I have failed. The key lay within my hands. The key that could have halted all the looming disasters and changed the course of events. The burning mountains, the great flood, the apocalypse. Perhaps it was up to me to prevent them. But my faith was weak. All those years, the key lay well hidden within the ruins of Gatineau. And the saint who showed me the way appeared to me in a dream every night. But my fear was too great, and I never returned there. I have failed. And therefore, all I have left is hope. The hope that those brothers and sisters who follow may not succumb to the phantoms of fear, doubt, and weakness, as I did. The hope that they may boldly take the only path that is still open, strong in faith and fearless in action. I pray to God that it might be thus. Otherwise, the last of the prophecies will come true as well, and our fates will be sealed. May the Lord be with you. May you find the strength to take the key and try to stem the tide of Zandona's prophecies. Forgive me, Sister Elise. That doesn't sound good. Not good? Sister Elise basically announced that the apocalypse is almost upon us. Oh, come on. That seems a bit exaggerated. Have you already forgotten the flood wave then? How could I? See? And what did the letter say? I... It mentioned a flood wave, didn't it? That could be a coincidence. And by mere coincidence, some people are leaving dead bodies in their wake just to get their hands on this letter? Hmm. And by mere coincidence, during these last few weeks, a major part of the very disasters that Zandona foretold happened one after the other, in the exact order of the prophecy. Which is... First, pestilence and disease. Just like the epidemic in Western Africa, that still has millions of people living as fugitives. So you think that was the first harbinger? Hmm. What next? Next? The punishment of the greedy. The burning oil fields in the Middle East leading up to a severe economic crisis? Probably. And then a war. There are plenty of those to choose from. But the most gruesome is probably the civil war in South America, triggered by the collapse of the financial system. Earthquake. Japan. Burning mountains. The volcanic eruptions in Southeast Asia. Followed by a flood. Which we've seen for ourselves. You're beginning to scare me. I am sorry, but this is what Zandona's prophecy says. And it is also what the Puritas Cordis sect is preaching. I have no idea what the key might be that Sister Elise mentions in her letter, but she seems to think that the prophecies can be stopped by using this key. How can anyone stop a prophecy? Beats me, but I know this much. If there is even the slightest possibility that all those disasters may actually be followed by the apocalypse, we have a real problem on our hands. And if there is even a remote possibility of stopping the apocalypse, or at least taking some appropriate preventive measures, then we should definitely make use of it. But looking down from a cloud afterwards and saying, if only I had, doesn't seem too tempting either. What do you suggest? We need to go to Gatineau. Where exactly is that? The place vanished from the history books centuries ago. But a few years ago, they discovered the ruins of a small town that they think is Gatineau. And if there is anything left to find there, 
We must do so before anyone else does. Before it's too late. Then we should head there immediately. There's another section of beach over that way. Maybe we'll find something there that will help us get away from here. I'm going to need your help, though. It's a rather steep descent. Then you want to come back? Just let me know. I'll help you get up here, then. Great. I'm going to take a look around. You do that. Maybe you can somehow fix the boat over there. And it would be good to know where on earth we are. I can't make any use of it in this state. I'll just wind this hose around here. I've fixed plenty of motorcycles before, but this is a bit different. A wise man once said, if the boat will not come to the motorcycle, the motorcycle will go to the boat. A little acid from the battery should work wonders. What have we got here? Hmm. This suit doesn't look too bad. And there's a digital camera here, too. I should make a habit of looting stranded suitcases. Yes, that might do the trick. I'll remove this engine and attach it to the boat. Off to work. A perfect fit. I wonder if this landslide was caused by the flood wave. I'll never be able to move the entire landslide, but I'll just dig near these scraps of packaging. Maybe the contents are still around here too. A fan blade from a truck's alternator. Looks like my digging has actually turned up something useful. A fan blade as a makeshift propeller? Why not? Oh, hmm. Because the propeller needs to be submerged and therefore underneath the boat? Great idea. I can use that to lift the boat. I'll go get some more of those life vests. Now it looks like a hovercraft. A nearly perfect makeshift propeller. My training as a motorcycle mechanic has proved useful once again. It looks a bit tattered. But you never know. There might still be something usable inside. A map. It looks about as tattered as the tank bag, but I guess that was to be expected. A map of northern France. Now, if I could just figure out where I am, this could actually prove useful. The camera's optical and digital zoom functions are really handy. I can even read the place names from that signpost on the camera's display. How are you doing? So I'm supposed to find out where... Yes. That makes sense. The boat is ready for use. You really managed to fix it? Yes, and we won't even have to row. Hey, I'm impressed. You're amazingly resourceful. Good work. Thanks. I had better get back to working on the rest of our problems. Oh, I would... It's all right. You're already helping me by... Pr 
the map shows the same towns I saw written on the signpost, including Gatineau, the place David Carell spoke of. It's a bit more than a stone's throw away, but easy enough to find. We just have to follow the Seine upstream. The sea is quite calm again. The chaos on the beach and the junk floating in the filthy water are the only reminders of that disastrous flood wave. <laughs> 